Hey, good evening, uh, or afternoon, or morning. It all depends what time you're watching this. So, uh, this is the big reveal. I am so, 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 like, dead excited. Been uh, A couple of people have been, like, banging around guesses who's taking over AMA, what's happening, what's going on. So, this is basically to give you details of what is happening next in the legacy that is Academy of Martial Arts. I know a lot of you guys are jumping on, so thank you so much for joining on. I'm really, really excited. Um, we've just been talking through through plans and everything that he's got. Because um, obviously this place has got huge memories. I'm just talking about, obviously, when I first came here back in 2002 with a business partner. Uh, don't try and adventure martial arts. <coughs> dot com. Um, yeah, so I could see everything. I could see people here. I could smell everything that was going on. I could hear the excitement of people. But the one memory that I've got for me, which is kind of like a, a sad thing, is like my daughter grew up here, and that's a real big um, thing for me because obviously we, we've made the school really family orientated. My, my daughter used to have this little trike, and at the end of classes, like she'd, she'd bomb around the outside on this little trike and then pick up pads and then bring them back. So this place has got... So many memories for me. I am so, so, so pleased that, like, almost like, a carbon copy of me uh, in, in terms of ethos and life skills. Obviously, he, he looks completely different to me because he's more handsome than me, but there you go. So this is the big reveal. This guy, like I've, I've said on previous videos, we've known each other 20. We've trained together for, for 20 years, haven't we? Done like, like, all kickboxing stuff. I thought the other day, I, I remember when I fought on your England squad? Yeah. I remember that as well. Like, there you go. Cool. Um... Yeah, this guy's got so much knowledge, everything from uh, Jeet Kune Do, um, uh, Kali, Dakayana, boxing, kickboxing, Thai boxing, karate, he's like me, he's been at Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, um, combat, was it combat wrestling as well? It's, it's CSW, man, this dude's done everything. Uh, he's like me, he's a martial arts junkie, which is, my vision for this school was a martial arts school. I know, obviously... Over the years, it's kind of gone a bit more fitness-based, but I've really wanted to bring it back to a martial arts base as well. That's why I go off and train with multitudes of people, and I've done tons of stuff and, and with this guy as well. So uh, I'm really, really excited. Like, we need a drum roll. Brrr. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to present to you the next person to take over the legacy of Academy Martial Arts. It is Mr. Rick Dubinat! Yay! I know some of you guys have met Rick before, and you've, you've graded people for Black Belt here as well. Yeah, you? yeah, so right. just over there, I think it was. It was. Um, cool. A couple of times, like, um, basically helping to, to, to grade people. Um, I'm excited. I'm really, really excited. Like, like Dan said, we go way back. We've got exactly the same ethos. We're both into personal development. We're really into martial arts. We're into fitness. But I think the reason why we're such close friends and good friends is because we're both into developing people. And we're completely selfless people as well. We, we put so much into everybody else um, that we kind of forget sometimes. We have to give each other a kick up the backside to do it. a little bit of self-care. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we've got exactly the same ethos. And I'm, this is more than just um, taking over a, a premises to do, do a, a martial art class. This is, this is a, a major, major thing for me. It's an emotional thing. Um, it's like passing the torch between two, two very, very close friends and stuff. And it's a massive, massive thing, a massive obligation on my part. Um, and, and I'm just proud. I'm really, really proud of the amount of things that we've been discussing, um, things that Dan says that he, he needs to make sure that um, going forward that certain things happen in a certain way. Um, and it's a good job that we've got the same ethos about, about life, about developing children and stuff. That it, It's going to be good. It's going to be really, really cool. And you've got some exciting plans as well. You're going to do a new... Yes. Uh, kids education center as well she's like yeah. whoa that's such a good idea yeah one thing I'm, I'm really passionate about is i've got two boys i've got a four-year-old and a ten-year-old um and i i own for those that don't know me i own a chain of uh, family martial arts centers called martial arts centers of excellence as well um so i've really got full-time studios been running those for 15 years really really successful um and a business coach for the martial art industry as well so i know what i'm talking about oh i like to think I think you know what you're talking about. You give me some ice ideas, we bounce loads of ideas off each other. Um, so, um, what I'm planning is over there somewhere, where I'm going to build um, a, an educational centre that will turn, that'll, that'll be, it's going to be there for two reasons. One, instructor training and instructor development and personal development. Um, it's going to be there for, and this is the most important thing, it's going to be there for um, students to be able to come in, do their martial art training. But I'm going to offer out the area to tutors, as in proper educational tutors, not martial art, 
um, school tutors to come and use the place for free, which means tutors will be able to come in to use the place, um, which means there are no barriers, and then kids can come in and do their homework, get tutored, so their education will go up, their fitness will go up, and then we're going to kind of do our little bit to, to create the, the future of... Um, of uh, the West Midlands. <laughs> the world. I was going to go world. the world. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say the universe. Do the world. One, yeah. Cool. Uh, I think it's got plans. So we've got a builder coming in soon. Yes. Isn't that? Uh, liaising with landlords, get builder in. Make sure everything is all safe. So take down obviously all the, the dangerous bits. Make sure it is all safe and everything is all kosher and people come back. Obviously you still find all the social guidelines and, and all the COVID procedures that we put in as well. Uh, Rick's, Rick actually does more than me because he's, he's more professional. But there you go. Um, so we're looking at uh, 2nd November, aren't we? 2nd November for, for reopening. Hope we might be able to do it a little bit earlier with a, a little bit of a special opening or something. But it depends on yeah. all the building work because we've got that to do. We've got the roof and everything to do. Um, but yeah, it's looking good. Everything's pretty much on schedule so far, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. So, yeah, uh, I know there's tons of people tuning in, um, which is ace. Cool. Uh, yeah, so we need to find out the most important thing is people carrying on their training uh, is obviously dead really important and for uh, to work out a timetable because that was like when i was in lockdown that was the most difficult thing to do so we need to kind of i'm going to work with rick to work out a timetable so we're going to get a sign up link for people yeah. to start their training um starting in november or earlier as rick said if possible just depends all depends on building times so if we can get people back in earlier, wicked. Um, but yeah, we'll post out a, a link for people. I've cancelled all, all payments, so nothing will come out for October. Um, fingers crossed, yes. Uh, I'm going to say that. Um, have cancelled everything. So yeah, so we're looking to do a grand reopening on the 2nd of November. And then, if, as Rick said, if you can get people in earlier, wicked. If people can start signing up, then we know what class is. We're going to try and keep the timetable as... as yeah, Same as possible, what, aren't we? Yeah, to be clear, I mean, what I'm not going to do is come in and just say, go, okay, this is the way we do things, I want to do this, 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 this. That's not kind of the way that I operate. My aim is to provide, and the same as Dan, is to provide the best environment for the individuals to, to prosper and grow. Um, the tagline that I use for my businesses is, um, helping. we're passionate about helping you to reach our potential, or reach your potential. Um, so that's what it's about. It's not about trying to conform to this way of doing things or doing it. I want to do things the way that suits the individuals. Children do not like major, ch don't, they don't really kind of deal with change, massive, yeah. massive changes you know, and anything like that. So I want to try and stick to what you guys are used to. We're not going to throw curveballs in. I'm not interested in that. What I'm interested in is providing a world-class facility, another family martial arts centre, that is going to serve the community and do as well as my other um, places have done um, in the ethos that both Dan and I wholeheartedly believe in. We see each other, what, every every, week, every couple of Usually weeks? Every week, yeah. Yeah, so it, it's kind of, there's no way that I could come in and throw curveballs in without him round kicking me in the head. So, <laughs> so it, it's, it's basically, it, it's gonna be as it was before. Um, only a few changes, a few tweaks, because then they are, I am not Dan and Dan is not me. Right, but um, we've got the best interest of the students at heart. That's where my heart lies. Um, sorry, adults, but specifically children. Okay, I want the best environment for children to prosper. I really, 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 really do. Um, and I just want kids thriving and prospering Being and everything. Awesome. Yeah, so that's about it. Cool. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. One other thing I wanted to say. Um, one of the things that we do want to bring is we're talking about martial arts. Mm. I do want to bring some other aspects of the other martial arts that I've trained in into, into the Academy of Martial Arts as well. So the opportunities for you guys to, to cross train in different things. Now that doesn't mean I'm going to go to your normal class and say, okay, today we're doing this and that. No. <laughs> yeah, there'll be other options for you to, to kind of grow in other areas if you want to because your personal development is personal. Yeah, it has to be what you want to do, not what I try to enforce on you. Okay? Wicked. That's about it, I think. Yeah, it's all that's that's loving it. Yeah, loving yeah. it. Cool. It's this weird stage where you go, how do we end the video? It's like uh, I, don't I have no idea. Um well, I'm gonna say, oh, I don't know what or how we, we need to finish this one. I'm gonna say thank you to Dan. Um not for anything that he's done for me, because he hasn't done anything for me. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna say thank you to Dan because I've seen from the very beginning everything that he's put into the, uh, this place, Academy of Martial Arts. I've seen everything he's done in the background that nobody else sees um, to develop instructors, 
um, to develop students, give students opportunities, all the training is done. I've seen the amount, the hours and hours and hours and hours of work and stuff that he's, he's gone into, he's, he's put in, to give other people a platform ahead of himself, um, which is commendable, it really is, because many people can't do that. It's easy to stand at the front and be the big I am and everything, but to be in the background making sure everything stays afloat and everything's actually working, that's something that people don't really get recognition for, so he deserves a recognition, definitely. Oh, dude, thank yeah. you. Yeah, you're welcome. Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, before I get all tearful, because he's made my head swell. Um, yeah, thanks so much again for, for, for watching, take the time to, to tune in. Like we said, we're both dead excited about the, the future possibilities that this school can do. And just for Starbridge as a community as well, the whole vision, like I said, was create this martial arts centre where kids, adults, parents, grandparents, little kids, dogs, just flourish. Um, and once again, I'm just dead just this guy's taken over, man. He's a ledge. You're going to love him. He's going to be ace. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, we will post more stuff very, very soon. But in the meantime, uh, have an amazing day. Thanks so much for watching. See you later, guys. Bye.